Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Mind of Steel. It's the weekly delve into the lives of the world's most wacky conspiracy theorists. People like Mark Steele. <laughs> He's so crazy, isn't he? But um, what about Sabrina Wallace? She's an absolute star in the world of conspiracy truthers. She is the prophetess of doom who believes that we've all been hardwired with strange biocircuitry that allows malign forces to obtain telemetry and, and even remote control our bodies. She believes that she and many of her fans are targeted individuals who are victims of some kind of state apparatus who have malign interests on our own bodies. It's bizarre, it's out there, but that's what she really believes. And the great thing about Sabrina is she is always vocally angry about something, which makes for great viewing. And today, once again, she is angry with me because I recently made a show called Sabrina Wallace Can't Read. Sabrina, for some reason, took great exception to that. But let's allow her to have the right of reply. Sabrina will explain why I am wrong and you should not be watching this show. So now we're going to deal with some legitimate espionage. This guy who plays stupid looks stupid. His name on the YouTube is Mind of Steel. For those of you that don't know, you never heard of him, please don't go to this channel. Please do not support this guy. If you can hold back from pressing that skip button for just a few more seconds, Sabrina is going to explain precisely why you should not be watching this channel. And believe me, by the time you've heard what she has to say, you might feel sick to your guts about the awful truth behind Mind of Steel, the channel that you are watching now. This person is in the UK and he believes that, well, he believes a lot of things, but one of the things that he claims to believe is that Mark Steele and I have some sort of communication. That is not the case. I've never spoken to Mark Steele. I think it's important to correct Sabrina's factual error here. I've never once suggested that Mark Steele and Sabrina have been talking to each other. They don't need to talk to each other in order to influence each other because they are both people who make completely bonkers videos and post them on the internet. And it's quite obvious that they have been watching each other's videos. They have been influenced by each other's videos. And you can see that when one of them starts to repeat ideas that clearly originated with the other. The obvious inference is that Sabrina has been watching Mark's videos and Mark has been watching Sabrina's videos. They get their ideas by watching crazy things on the internet. So when Sabrina claims not to know who Mark Steele is or, or not really to know much about him, she protests a little bit too much because she knows just as much about Mark Steele as any of us do. In fact, the only thing I've ever heard of regarding Mark Steele was right here. I had never even heard of him until I saw my face pop up right here five months ago. Once again, this is a truly bizarre lapse of memory. Sabrina is claiming that the first time she became aware of Mark Steele was when she saw my video about her and Mark, entitled Mind of Sabrina, which is a truly bizarre claim because my video from about six months ago when this channel had only 200 subscribers, well, it was a reaction video to a 10 minute video created by Sabrina in which she talks about nothing but Mark Steele. Sabrina, please allow me to jog your memory for a few seconds. This guy, this alleged conspiracy theorist, Ministry of Defense weapons person, I don't know who Mark Steele is, but I went and did a just basic looking. Mark Steele is theoretically, theoretically correct because the 2.4 Laura has been in use the entire time with those RFIDs and putting them in people and then accessing people through natural radio frequency through the body. Sabrina has consistently claimed not to know who Mark Steele is, despite the fact that she's made quite a few videos in which she has cited his claims, repeated his audio in her video, 
she's obviously very familiar with Mark Steele. And she's also the same kind of nutter when it comes to making obviously false claims about wireless technology. Take this, she's talking about LoRa, which is a real radio system for low power, long range, low bandwidth communication. She's claiming that human bodies are somehow connected to the cloud using LoRa, which is bizarre in so many ways. First of all, LoRa is not an internet-based protocol. It's not the sort of thing you would connect anything directly to the cloud with. It is a low bandwidth protocol for sensors and sensor networks, but um, it's bizarre to suggest that it might be on 2.4 gigahertz. It, in no country on earth is it licensed for that use. And if it was, it would be very quickly shut down. But it isn't because you can't buy LoRa equipment that operates at 2.4 gigahertz. And furthermore, if human bodies were emitting some kind of LoRa signal, and that was being used for the kind of bizarre fiendish telemetry that Sabrina seems to think is going on, well, you'd be able to detect that with a $50 SDR, a software defined radio, which could be used to visualize and, and see the, the very kind of distinctive signal that Laura puts out. So we know that absolutely everything Sabrina said in that clip is utter nonsense. And I don't know anything about Mark Steele other than the comments that he made here. I don't know Mark Steele, I have never spoken to him. Okay, so Sabrina really wants you to know that she has absolutely no knowledge at all or connection whatsoever with Mark Steele, despite the fact that uh, she talks about him all the time. Uh, but that's not her only beef with Mind of Steel and myself. Uh, she's got a little bit of a problem with some of the content and also some of the guests that I've featured on this show. Now, as you can see, this guy has monetized me. He brought these two poor guys to embarrass their lack of knowledge, which was horrible. I didn't watch it because I couldn't. I just couldn't. This is a testament to Sabrina's radical approach to media criticism. Most media critics believe that you first watch or experience a piece of content and then synthesize some kind of reaction to it perhaps by contrasting it to other works of the same genre, delving into what the creator's intent might be, and, and thus forming conclusions about what the state of mind or, or perhaps possible motives of that creator might have been. That's called criticism. But Sabrina offers a new and more radical approach. I, I believe she's perhaps using some kind of entirely psychic method. She seems to know what my content is, without having watched this. Same thing with this one, 10 days ago. I just, I can't watch because the guy is so incredibly dishonest. Mind of Steel is the most dishonest channel on the entire internet. Well, don't I look like a complete fool? And I do not suffer fools. For example, in his comments on this one here, if you go through them, the people are commenting back to him that I'm so stupid that I talked about something made up called Laura. Sabrina doesn't have the engineering background or the intellectual capacity to really dispute any of the things that I've said in my videos, and neither do her fans. They sometimes come here and say vague things in my comments, but none of them ever have the courage to actually say exactly what I said that was wrong. Case in point here, where Sabrina is beefing that somebody, some unnamed person that she never shows, was disputing the existence of LoRa, the radio protocol that I mentioned briefly before. Uh, like, LoRa is everywhere. Look, here's a tiny LoRa device that I bought from AliExpress. It cost me $20 and it can send low bitrate text messages to other devices of a similar kind. Laura is real. And that's what my comment said. In fact, I was replying to somebody, asking them to be clear about um, what exactly it is that Sabrina is claiming about Laura, which is a standard for low bitrate, long distance communication. S Sabrina is completely wrong. She she's a bonkers, strange lady 
who lives in a kind of opposite land, in which everything says the opposite of what the text really means. So it's really easy to find out whether or not this guy is telling you something real or he's just wasting your time. And he is literally wasting your time. There is nothing he is teaching you. In fact, he's screwing up your brain pretty good. He asks really stupid questions like, does the Laura exist? What is she talking about? It's not that I'm asking whether it exists or not. I am disputing Sabrina's conceptualization of what it is. And the reason I'm showing this to you, whoever you might be, is because when you go over there to this guy's YouTube, you're supporting the UK in their efforts to keep their citizenry completely oblivious to electronic warfare. This is a truly bizarre claim. Um, first of all, because Sabrina is obviously borrowing the same kind of paranoid delusion from Mark Steele that everybody who's criticizing her must be some kind of government proxy whose malign purpose is to undermine whatever it is the truth that she is trying to reveal. But it's also quite bizarre that, that she is suggesting that my purpose in making this is to try and stop people reading the various government directives that she wants to bring your attention to. Well, no, because I now have far more subscribers on my channel than Sabrina Wallace does on any of hers. Which means that if my attempt was to conceal what she's trying to reveal, well, surely the opposite has happened. I've just drawn everybody's attention to the fact that Sabrina Wallace thinks we all ought to be reading government directives that reveal some kind of malign and malignant truth that uh, is going to horrify you should you truly comprehend its width and breadth. Well, none of that is remotely sensible. Anybody who gives the slightest damn about what Sabrina is saying has already Googled for whatever it is she was talking about and may already be reading the incomprehensible texts and bonkers videos on her channel. Everybody else is having a good laugh. That's what this channel is all about. We're just laughing at conspiracy theorists and Sabrina, you are the most paranoid and bonkers one that I've seen, except of course for Mark Steele. Um. We don't have time for this, and I'm not going to put up with it. I, I've already told everybody to stay off of this channel, stay away from it. But here's what else I'm going to say to you, London. So, oh, in the event that you hit my channel and you've seen this pile of filth, whoever this dude is, he absolutely is a psychological operation. How do we know for sure? Well, besides going through the actual JTRIG data and understanding why they put trash like this out here to keep you from learning about actual Pentagon directives. Department of Defense Directive 3009. Whatever you do, I don't want you to read Department of Defense Directive 3000.09, which was published in January of 2023. Because if you do read that, well, I'll be very cross. And presumably there's something about it that I don't want you to know. And I'm going to use my reverse psychology to manipulate you into not reading this document, because that's what I do. I'm here to stop you reading. I'm that kind of guy. I want you to be ignorant, foolish, stupefied. Perhaps maybe just watch some more YouTube, maybe a pop video, or one of those five minute maker videos where somebody makes something completely implausible in five minutes, yeah? Do that, do anything, but search for the information that Sabrina wants you to view. Because if you do that and it triggers you into a state of unease, well, you'll only have yourself to blame. Wouldn't it be better to be ignorant, just like I want you to be? Mm. Consider that while you get yourself a Pop-Tart. So I have been through this with a lot of different people in the two years I've been online. And most of them were Spookaboo State or whatever. But this guy is genuinely a douchebag who misleads people so you can't read. So it turns out that the real reason that Sabrina can't read, the reason why it is always opposite day in Sabrina land, is me. I'm the douchebag who stops everybody from reading 
by misleading them. Did it help you? No. Did you feel good making fun of the disabled woman? Does that make you feel good as a person, given that I barely survived with scars all over my body? Maybe I should be kinder to Sabrina. Is it fair that I spend most of my evenings making videos that are mocking people who are obvious imbeciles? It's not fair to mock the afflicted, and it's even less fair to mock victims of government research programs that leave people with uncanny psychic abilities. I am a modified child due to the Menninger Foundation experimentation for human augmentation. Sabrina really does believe that she gets her superpowers, the ability to perceive all of these things that are not known to others because she is the product of some kind of super secret DARPA research project. Wow. <laughs> What a bombshell. Mark 536, this does it. I won't be bringing this dude up ever again. I don't care what he does because I'm hoping that this will now finish it off. Well, I think we can all agree that Sabrina has had the last laugh and she who laughs last laughs longest. Sabrina must be uh, laughing quite heartily now that she has shown me to be the idiot that I obviously am. You remember at the beginning of this show, I revealed that Sabrina was telling us all not to watch Mind of Steel. And yet, you're still here. Uh, I bet you're feeling pretty damn silly having watched all of this nonsense for the last few minutes. And if you are, you might be regretting some of those life choices that have led you up to this exact minute. Just think of all the things you could have been doing. You, you could have been watching that five minute craft video. Perhaps you could have been throwing a, a, a blob of porcelain onto a spinning wheel and, and with your own manual dexterity, turning it into a, a beautiful clay pot, which you will fire in your kiln and then give to your grandmama. Perhaps also you could have been finishing off those nature watercolors that you have been so desperate to get back to. And, and yet you're still here. What are you doing, you, you, you idiots? Well, Sabrina has one last message for all of you who are regretting the time that you have wasted watching Mind of Steel, which, as we have now concluded, is the most idiotic program on the whole of YouTube. Now it's on you, the viewer. I've already answered it once four months ago. I'm not going to answer it again. If you go to this guy's channel, you're fucking up your brain and you're helping the Five Eyes run whatever it is they're doing with this pile of shit. And yet another episode of Mind of Steel. But I've got some bad news for you. Let's start with your brain. Unfortunately, it is completely fucked up. Yep, it's scrambled. You are now completely illiterate because you've been exposed to me. And I'd like you to try this for yourself. Go to Google and search for Department of Defense Directive 3000.09. You will notice that all of the words on the screen now appear to be a sort of incomprehensible jumble. And yes, that's the effect that I have had on you. Now, if you thought that was bad, well, consider this. You are all now my accomplices. Because you watched this show in opposition to the instruction that Sabrina Wallace so clearly gave us right at the beginning, well, we are now all together assisting the Five Eyes in whatever it is the purpose of this show was. Now, that purpose has not yet been stated, but we can be absolutely certain that by watching this, you have inched that purpose one tiny step closer to its nefarious conclusion. Well, how do you feel now? I bet you are all regretting what you've done. You bunch of absolute fools. You could have switched this off and, and watched anything else, but you chose to watch Mind of Steel, and I bet you regret it. Well, um, I hope you don't come back in a week's time to watch whatever nonsense I create, because if you do, you will truly be wasting your time, and that's the kind of thing that only an idiot would do. See you soon.